Sudan's former president Omar al-Bashir is reported to have been moved from house arrest to a maximum security prison. Protesters on Khartoum streets welcome the news. But their demands go much further. We are so much happy to hear actually that the president has been moved to Kobar uh, prison. We are still not sure what we really want to see that we want the president to be in prison, but not only him actually, but the whole regime. What said that those people have been brought to the Cobra uh, prison, it will be true. And until now we have no uh, very confirmed information that those people have been brought to the uh, Cobra prisons. Earlier Wednesday, the military council announced a series of measures, including the arrest of al-Bashir's brothers Abbas and Abdullah, along with a number of other high-ranking officials of the former regime. But the council's spokesman hasn't confirmed the whereabouts of the deposed president. Arrests are underway of symbols of the ousted regime, in addition to others who are believed to be linked to corruption cases. The most prominent of those who have been placed in custody until now are the brothers of the former head of this corrupt regime, Abdallah and Abbas Bashir. A council welcomed a ceasefire offer from one faction of the Sudan People's Liberation Movement. The group has been fighting al-Bashir's government in two southern regions. <laughs> Meanwhile, the two main bodies behind the protest, Sudan Professionals Association and the forces of the Declaration of Freedom and Change, say they have submitted a paper with a roadmap for change, including the creation of a civilian presidential council with a military representation to rule the country along with a civilian cabinet made of independent technocrats. But protesters say they fear what may happen if the various parties fail to agree on a plan. They know that disagreements will mean failure and an opportunity for the military to stay in power. Mohamed Van, Al Jazeera, Khartoum.